Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Allison, and today I have my updated eyebrow routine. A lot of you guys have been um, complimenting my brow shape and how I do my brows, you know. So I decided I'm gonna do an updated eyebrow routine because I have definitely updated my products. I watched my old eyebrow routine video and I was like, dang girl, you updated. Um, now I work and I have money so I can provide for myself. So I definitely use more quality quality stuff for my eyebrows if I can say I really hope you guys enjoy this video this is the way I do my brows I know the whole natural brow is on trend right now but I just can't do it I just can't my brows always want to look like this today they decided to be extra sharp and flaky this is what I have for you guys today if you don't like it well I'm so sorry I believe that you should do whatever you want with your brows I just don't like the blocky brows if you start your brows from right here I really don't know anyone who really looks good with block brows, so yeah. If you would like to see my eyebrow routine, keep on watching. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this brow tutorial is just going to be the brush. This is just Anastasia number 12 brush. I think the name rubbed off because it's old. I should get a new one. Then you're gonna need a concealer. I'm almost running out of this one. Um, I use a concealer to make the brow look cleaner. If you don't like using concealer on your brows, you can always use foundation. The most important item of all this is a brow product. So I use Anastasia Dip Brow in Ash Brown because my brow hairs are black. I don't like using like brown and then my brow hairs being like black, you know? You, do you understand me? And overall, I really like the Dip Brow because it makes your brow hairs just like stay there, you know? Then you're gonna need a brow gel. I use the L'Oreal Plumper or you can use the Maybelline one. These are my two favorites and that was the only ones I had tried. If you want to go for a cheaper option, definitely go for this one. This is the Maybelline Great Lash. It's for your eyelashes, but honestly, for your brows, they look hella good. They make your brows look really pretty. It's not super glue for your eyebrows. It still makes them stay in place, so I think you will like it. How do I grow my brows? I don't do nothing to them. Literally, leave them alone. I got blessed. And my brows have their own shape. I don't have messed up brows. I got blessed with my brow hairs, for reals. Thank you. So my brow hairs already have their own shape. I really don't have to do nothing to them. I could take the these parts, like plug them or anything, you know, like to make my brows look cleaner, which will be awesome, but I don't got time for that, so I don't do it. And honestly, I don't think it looks bad. If you have a pet peeve with people not plugging the eyebrows, well, sorry, you hate me. <laughs> yeah, I just brushed them up. You can definitely see like my natural brow shape there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my Anastasia Dip Brow. Oh, uh, something, a lot of people say they have problems with the Anastasia Dip Brow drying. Immediately just like drying off. What I do, I put oil and I put argan oil, the one that I use for my hair. I have noticed that my brow is... <laughs> I cannot talk to today, okay? Okay. I have noticed that my brows hair have been growing a lot and I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I have noticed that my brow hairs are more Gucci, you know, like they're accidentally boop, a little bit, didn't look bad, but it wasn't noticeable or anything, but that happened and now it's back because I put argan oil here and that's what keeps this alive. I'm almost done. This thing has lasted me for, I think, two years? Yeah, two years. No, wait, why did it last you? A year, a year. It has lasted me a year, so start always with a little, guys. You don't want to, like, go in and have a freaking black brow. I always start by doing the arch of the brow. After I have the outline of the arch of my brow, I start doing little strokes. I always make sure I don't touch the beginning of my brow because I don't want blocked brows. I brush some of the product up. Now I'm gonna do the arch of the brow. And start blending everything together by doing strokes. So I'm also doing this with a really light hand because I want it to look like they're my hairs, you know? I want to make these brows more natural today because I, I swear I know how to do natural brows, but today this one decided to just go full out. This is a brow that gives me the hardest time ever. It used to be this one, but now it's this one, and I swear I spend more time doing these brows than this brow, this brow, I right away get the shape and this is my side okay this is my 
my selfie size so if this brow looks ratchet i cannot take selfies so i always have to make sure it looks good a good trick to make sure that your brows look good is to like look on your phone like take a picture look at it on your camera phone that will help you a lot so much with knowing like the shape of your brow and like what looks better yeah this one decided just to be bold today so we're gonna have to make this one a lot bolder as you can see this one looks more natural and, and feathery and stuff like that this one looks more yeah not natural more defined you know we have to work with whatever the bra guts decided to do for me today so we're doing that i'm gonna call this like my instagram bra because it's a lot more defined so i'm obviously putting a lot more product as you can see defining more the arch and the tail of the brow bro something i want to make clear to you guys is that don't worry if a man thinks that your brows are fake because i swear to you they think that you are natural even when you're wearing makeup i had a man told me once that he thought these were my brows like where how how does this shape look natural to you like no so you want to make sure you're constantly brushing the brow because we don't want to make this super blocky and anything like that you still want to make sure you can see your pair strokes to make it look the same line natural i'm just not going to clean the brow because it looks really thick so we're gonna try to make it thinner now we're gonna clean the arch can see right here it looks really blocky so what I do I always do this and immediately you can see that the brow looks more natural and faded and just like ombre if you feel like you got a lot of product on your brow what you can do is spray um like water well not water but like like this like the, I'm gonna spray some of the mist to my brow and I'm gonna brush it so we can take some of the excess product off of the brow make it look even more natural a quick tip to make the arch of your brow more defined is highlighting it I love highlighting the arch of my brow so I'm using Mary Luminizer to highlight it I only highlight the arch of the brow I don't go all the way now that I have all my face makeup done I go in with the gel you are gonna get powder on your brows so make sure you always do this step last. I like brushing them up because I think it looks cute. <laughs> and it makes them look more feathery and I've been liking that look. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you like it, I would really appreciate it. If you would like to share this video with your friends, do it. Why not? <laughs> I don't mind. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for coming back to my channel and if you're new and if you subscribe thank you so mucho 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 thank you gracias remember los quiero mucho and i will see you on my next video bye